welcome to the channel. Today we're at Body Beach and we are testing the 1500 SXR before we take it apart to build our Bullet V5. We want to get some numbers to make sure, see where we start at to have a starting point so we know if we made improvements or not as we move along the project. And we're also here testing a Bullet V1 that we just put a new motor in, breaking it in. So some fun to be had today. Stay tuned. Fifty four point four. That's well short of their advertised sixty mile an hour. So we have to do some research to see why it's doing that first before we start changing parts. Okay everybody, we're back on the uh the donor ski for the bullet V five over here. But um as you noticed I kinda pulled a switcheroo. This isn't the hull we pulled the 1500 mode out for the bullet boat. This is actually my donor ski for the V4, for my other V4 over here. Um, it had a triple in it, which was a two stroke 1100. And I yanked it out and decided to use this ski. This is a much better choice for that purpose. So as you can see, we the starter relay mount is still in there. There's gonna be the coil mount still here. And uh, I've got this all prepped and ready to go. The start-stop switch is in there. The throttle cable's in there. And we're going to go over here and put this motor in. And what we started out here on this, we figured out this is the 12F motor. I've pulled the intake and exhaust manifold so I can drop it in the hull. This is my spaghetti that I have going on here, actually. <laughs> <laughs> going on here, I actually had this this motor running on this test stand here. And what I found out was that uh, this little guy here is a steering module. It, uh, it measures a magnet as it sweeps across here. This is a digital signal, so it has to be connected. So you can't really bypass that because it is a digital signal that the ECU looks for. Uh, this is the start-stop switch that I will bypass next step probably. And then the fuel pump, the fuel pump connectors share, they're from the same family. So I was able to just unpin those. This is the 12F fuel tank, and this is the 1500 connector. So I was just able to push those pins in, and uh, I, of course I didn't use the fuel gauge ones. So we put those together there. We come back around here, we have the rollover switch. This is another digital signal that the computer looks for. So uh, what you do is you put this in the vise and you pop that apart. And let's see here. There's a there's a weight in there. You can see it? It just rolls around. So when the ski goes upside down, that heavy weight passes across the sensor here and shuts the motor off. This doesn't make sense to me. So I, I take and throw this away. But you have to leave this connected. So I'll waterproof that back up and put that back together and zip tie it somewhere in the hull. So let's see here. Then we got the starter wires for that. This used to go back here behind the boat because the ECU and all the wiring ends up back here. So I have to take and move it forward because it's moved forward on that one. And we have to lengthen this wire here. We have to lengthen this wire here for the starter relay so it comes back here to the back of our setup. As you can see, all of our wiring is there on the floor there. And we'll go back there and we'll put the motor in and we'll start mocking up and go from there. Okay, so we're back at the shop here. I wanted to show everybody this aluminum plate, how it turned out. Turned out really nice. Probably the last time you'll see it because once the engine goes in, you probably won't be able to see it anymore. It hides all that under the intake manifold. But I also wanted to show you guys my little gunnel padding over here that I put on. What I do is I take this and buy this piece here, this hydro turf on the sides. This comes from the factory. They do not put one on the top here for some reason. But uh, what I do is I buy one of these pads on the left here. See how long it is? And I'll make a template and I'll cut it out. And I'll put on the top rail and they work really well. And I'll cut two of them out of the same template. That way they, they look even and they, they don't look out of place. So we'll get back on this, put the motor in, start mocking this stuff up. And, or I guess we're done mocking up. We'll just assemble it and we'll go ride it. 
Okay, motor's back in. Wiring still looks like spaghetti, but hey, we'll get there. Still working on it. The start relay, as you can see, we've lengthened the wires substantially to go to the back of the hole because that's where our connect, our interconnects are back here. And uh, that's where they'll connect. And the relay goes up here on this wonderful little stand there. And we're about ready to install that. We'll keep going forward. Okay, everybody, it's kind of exciting. We got uh, we got her all wired. We got our coils mounted. We have the battery in there. We have everything tied up. We have our starter relay. We got our wiring harness back here. Uh, still looks like spaghetti, but hey, it'll be all right for now. And then uh, we got the start-stop switch. We have to use the sit-down one for right now because our, our connector didn't come in for the other one, so we'll have to change that connector out at some point. And then we got the roller switch ready. We got the dash is not going to be installed on this, so there's our start-stop cable there. We got to hide that, and then the on-off switch will bypass. I haven't had a chance to do that yet either. And then, of course, we'll tie up the steering sensor. So that's all good there. Everything looks good. I haven't done anything. This is kind of a maiden voyage moment here. I'll set this here, and we'll see what happens. All right, ready? Drum roll. We're going to fire it. Let the fuel pump run. It's going to build fuel pressure in the system. And I should just be able to start it. Or not. We'll have to see what's going on and uh, try again. All right, I think I was just being impatient with it. I gave it a little shot of ether. We'll see if it does anything different. That's a result. <laughs> I think it just took a little longer to prime the fuel injectors than I expected. But that did kind of scare me for a second. But it did run, so we're uh, going to take it to the water here. And we'll go from there. Okay, everybody, here it is. I'm happy with how it turned out. Everything's buttoned up. We got the wiring done. We have the uh, there's the the stop switch start the on off switch is bypassed. I don't know why I was trying to save this one. It was broke. If you ever wondered what these look like taken apart? Here's the top of it. It's uh this piece is broken off here and. It's this piece here is broke, but basically this this was in here. Sorry. See the contactors? And then this was upside down in here, screwed in there, and it was backed up by this rubber washer and this snap-in piece it all unscrewed out of there. You can see that the two the two reds and then the black and the white. They're, they're in pairs shorted together. So when this, this would turn 45 degrees. Yeah, I need two hands for this. Basically you can see where this would turn 45 degrees either way and it would either, the off would close this circuit and the on would close this circuit. So that's why we short, we just take and loop these two wires here to bypass this switch. But it is rebuildable. I could fix it if I just had another one. You know, I mean, it's fixable. But there's nothing complicated. I thought these were a little more complicated than this, to be honest. But uh, the only thing I'm not really sure about is when you short these two wires, when you turn it off, it doesn't drain the battery. So it must it must connect to a third leg of a transistor or something that uh, stops the battery from drawing. 
maybe there's somebody out there with electrical experience that can post a comment and explain why that works. But so off is shorted to these two, on is shorted to these two. So in case you ever wondered. And then I ended up robbing the connector, obviously, because we weren't going to use this because it was bad. So now we're going to take this to the lake and test it. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, we're down here at Body Beach. We've got the 12F motor in the stand-up. It's all warmed up. It's up to temperature. I've been sitting here letting it run on the trailer. I'm very happy. There's no leaks. There's no issues. There's no nothing to make me nervous. So we're going to go to a speed pass here and see if we can... Uh... We'll see if we can get a speed run here. So stay tuned. the number. Oops. Our last number was 54.4 guys. We're within one mile an hour. I can't be happier with that. This is going to be a, a loaner ski, borrow ski, loan to anybody, let anybody ride ski. Because I don't think I have 1500 bucks in this project. So it's a winner. We'll use it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 